Good evening, everyone. T Speaker 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on XLM. Guys, this is what I was warning about before. I know I was a little sad in the last video. So it's, it's a rough time. Our aunt did end up passing. I'm trying to make the most of it. Um, for all you guys that have sent support, like honestly, un unbelievable. That's all I'm going to say. I won't forget any of you guys. And down the road, like, you're going to see it pay back. Um, I like to pay things forward, so just know that I've got you on my on my list. So, basically, I, I had to come on and do a video. I thank you guys for all the wishes. You know, you guys are really helping me get through this. It's a, it's a very tough time, but as some of you even said in the thing, I do love to chart. So, basically, what's going on here is when I told you guys if it broke down below 150, sell... Which is what I did. Not all of them, but I tried to make up for you know some of my losses that I had to get rid of earlier. And I waited. I picked it back up at a dollar nineteen. So not not terrible. I mean, I literally picked it up right on the bottom, as low as I could possibly get it with the upcharge. So I've got. I only had forty five hundred, but because I let it bounce down. I got a free 700, so I'm very happy. I feel like I got paid a bit of gratitude from the man upstairs. Although it did affect our XRP. Um, but it's a huge buying opportunity. Now, at this point, again, this is the last... I, I firmly believe we're in a huge shakeout in the crypto market and things are about to change like you've never been seen. All that stuff we've been talking about, all these conspiracies, all the stuff about Bitcoin and XRP flipping and all this stuff... This is the point where if you need to get at least, just sit on 4,000. If you can get 4,000 XRP or 2,500, no, forget that. If you can get 1,500 XRP and you can, you know, if you can somehow get 1,500, because if this breaks down again, I told you, the dollar twenty was the level I was looking at. If this breaks out again, you know, we might, there's nothing really here. This is the... Now what we're on though, guys, when we moved past the dollar forty-four, we now went past the fifty-day moving average. So we had to come down. This was nothing more than coming down to the two hundred day moving average. The two hundred day moving average is at a dollar like nineteen. So we had to come back down here. If you remember 2017, we did the same thing. It was the big dump off before the blast off. And that's exactly what's going on right now. It's the shakeout before the big thing. Look at Bitcoin, guys. Seven thousand my suggestion would be if you see xrp not bounce off of this which i don't know how much lower it can go if it breaks 116 you might want to sell and let it ride down to a dollar and see what it does because that's probably what i would do and try to gain a few more back again on the downswing it's a very dangerous game but i mean I came on earlier and I tried to warn you guys. That's why I put the sad sun where it kind of looked like the guy was hanging himself, even though well, that's not what it was. Um, but I told you, very, very dangerous. No volume and we could drop like a rock. I had a line down here, but I went too far. But I told you, 120, it was going to toss big time. And once it ripped through that 130, that's a problem. We knew we were coming down to 116. Now, if we bounced off 116, that's fine. But if we can't show some numbers here, you know, but I think this is that. Remember, I was telling you there could be the, the shakeout that was coming. They're not just going to raise this, but I'm telling you one day, if you have two, three thousand of these, I'm going to go on the 2500 scale. If you have 2500 XRP, when this is all said and done. I mean, even if you had a thousand XRP, let's just look at it. I'm sorry, guys, but I, I'm going to be on here and I'm just going to talk because even though we've experienced death in the family and times are rough, when I talk to you guys, I love to chart and I love to talk and I love to, I don't know, you guys, you guys bring out the best in me. <coughs> Apologize. I just kind of, we just kind of got done talking. So, um, but so We're at $1.25, so let's just say you can get 2,000 of these. Let's say you have 2,000 XRP, because I think, honestly, if you have 2,000 XRP, you've done a damn fine job. If you have 2,000 XRP, you've done a damn fine job of stacking, 
finding any extra cash you got and, you know, stacking up into this because 2,000 of them, you know, you put in $2,500 in this son bitch now, or at least you have that value at this point. You know, it might have cost you a thousand depending on where you're at. But if you have two thousand shares, that's why when it's ten cents and you have two thousand, it may not look like a lot, but just think about it. If the thing ever pops off. So, you know, don't get discouraged, guys. If we just get to ten bucks and you have two thousand these, you got twenty grand. You know? Just get the five bucks. I'm telling you guys, when we take this run, this is where this is where the real diamond hands slogan comes from. Nobody says you can't sell and then buy it back at the bottom, but you better be damn sure because I'm going to tell you right now, this is probably going to correct right back up very quickly. Like, I believe very quickly. I would buy the hell out of this, though. But for everybody who says Bitcoin is a stable coin, I mean, when it does shit like that, they can, you know, they can blow me. It's not a stable coin. No stable coins going down 6,000 in less than a second. Anybody else reminisce 2017 right there when Bitcoin went from like 21,000 to 9? That was such a big boom. A lot of people said, I think all season's over. It may be over, but that means XRP is just starting. That's what I'm telling you guys. This whole alt season doesn't even matter. I wanted XRP to still be at 43 cents so I can buy a shit ton of it. And then you see something like this, Doge. Some people are mad that it's still garnering support, but when I came on before, I told you it might be over. We all had a nice run. I bought it at a little high at 28, or 26. But I still got to sell it. It went down to 22, then bounced up to 33. I sold it at like 31. But you know, everything dumped though. So like we all just lost a lot of money. Thousands of dollars, like thousands of dollars. Doesn't mean we can't make it back. XRP's bouncing now. Expect nothing less for that to be the final shakeout. Now all of a sudden you're gonna be like, what the fuck? XRP's gonna turn it on. I think XRP, I think this was a changing over. We're gonna start to see some funny things in the crypto world. DGB dropped 25% in the blink of an eye. Like literally, in the blink of an eye. That stopped my plan completely. The thing that sucks is it was falling the cup too, but might as well take that off now. But now there's some serious buys out here, you know. It, like, if you think that was it, I personally think that's it. That that's the shakeout. XRP is gonna go right back up. But you know, there's some crazy shit going on that you don't. That that's not normal. That's the manipulation. That's getting everybody with their stop loss out their fucking hands. That's what that is. I guarantee it. But now it's finally starting to form some kind of uh, resistance. You know, it's resisting the fall, finally. It's kind of doing whoop. That's good. This is looking a little bullish now. See, we just had to get down to this level. So, but guys, I could keep talking, but I want to get this video out while you guys still can see what's ranging in, just in case it pops up or down. Um, thank you for all the support. Um, if you did, you know, like, I've been getting a lot of messages on how to donate or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, I will leave it in the comments and pin it, plain and simple. There's only two ways. I'll leave it in the comments, pin it, and then if you guys can help, you can help. If not, I'll see you next time on the show. I didn't do an intro on my last couple videos just because I don't have the capacity of my mind to do it and wait and then I gotta think. So this is nothing unexpected. That's why I did the video earlier and said if it comes below 144, huge buying opportunity, but let it break down to 130. I even said that to see if it would break down. So we're in a great buying opportunity. Tremendous. This is the best buying opportunity you've had for over a week. So take advantage of it. Until next time, I'm T-Speaker 222XRP, Future Millionaire with the side on XLM. Um, I'll do my best to release a video. I'll probably, I might even do one overnight. Tonight's going to be the first night I don't sleep with Julie since her car accident where I was apart from her for two weeks at night. 
So, kind of feeling a little awkward tonight. So, keep me in your thoughts, and I just might be back on later to get some comfort. Thanks, guys. Stay blessed.